I'm Erin O'Connor and I'm the face of Radley Autumn Winter 2013. <laughs> I think they may have chosen me because I really enjoy collaborating. I like to be as much involved behind the scenes as I do when I turn up on the day in front of the photographer's lens. And I think we do share a sort of architectural synergy. You know, I'm all about strong, purposeful shapes, as are they. And we don't really kind of compromise on the style that we want to promote. And um, for me, it's just been a lovely opportunity to work hand in hand with a brand that really celebrate strength and I suppose moving forward. I felt delighted when Radley approached me. Um, I've watched them over the years and their credentials just keep growing and growing and they have a likability factor to them because for me you are dealing in the business of luxury but it's not exclusive to the point where it's not affordable on a wider scale. And it's quite nice to be able to, to kind of manage my professional expectation, but know that I'm going out with a positive image. And that's kind of what they have. It's for the thinking, working woman. And I sort of hope that the, the fit comes across that way because I, I genuinely feel it. For me, it's all about sharp, strong, purposeful silhouettes, and Radley are exactly the same. As a model, it's a joy to bring the two to get together to complement one another. Well, in terms of heritage, you know, they're, they're fast becoming a part of that whole British consciousness, when a woman thinks of style, she's drawn to Radley, you know. Accessories to a woman are the exclamation mark to her outfit. And a handbag, I think, being the most powerful. And so, even though they're a baby company in terms of having existed a short time, for me, they've made a huge impact. My dad um, absolutely pulled a blinder a few years ago and he bought my mum a Radley handbag in chocolate brown. I remember it clearly because we thought it was a very bold move, you know, my, my father buying a handbag for my mum. I mean, for a woman, it's such a personal thing. Your handbag is almost a statement that reflects your personality to the rest of the world. That's my history with Radley. So it's kind of a sentimental one too. You know, 15 years ago, my dad rocks up with this handbag. I just thought it's a really lovely story. And I told, I told the house of Radley that when I first met them. And, and I think they love the idea that it's been in my family as it is in theirs. You know, there's heritage on both sides. It's a dream come true working with Emma Somerton. I've watched her over the years and she's really evolved. And I think women photographers, they have a certain sensibility which I really appreciate. There's nothing particularly overt about her. It's just very defined and with a lot of conviction. And she keeps the sensuality of a woman, which I think is the most powerful thing we have. with Grantham just because I really like its scale. Being a tall woman I appreciate when things sort of seem to match me and um, we've got a good partnership going on me in this bag. I'm also a nerd when it comes to craftsmanship. It drives me bonkers. I'm always sort of... the overall style is one thing but when it comes to inspection of how things actually work for you and how realistic they are that's essential, that's crucial. For me, that's where you make that investment. Handles, how are they gonna fit? Can I run to the plane? Can I be in nomad mode with this but still express personality? And I particularly love the shade of this bag. It's optimistic and yeah, I wouldn't be too fussed if it got a little shabby. These are the bags that grow old well and um, I hope I do the same. <laughs>